Hi, this is Yasmin with Robles Designs, where we create role-worthy websites and brands for entrepreneurs who are hell-bent on taking over the world. And today, I'm just going to quickly show you how to add your email newsletter, um, how to connect it with MailChimp it's on your Squarespace site. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into your Squarespace site, pick out the page or section that you want to edit. Um, if you need help with that, let me know or message me or check out some of the videos on either YouTube or the blog to see if we have covered it already. If we haven't, let me know and we will. Um, but you will go in and into the section that you want. So I chose this section right below the blog feed on the home page. And I already have a series set up and on other pages and through MailChimp, uh, my assistant has added them in, added my content in. So what I did right here is basically add a newsletter. Uh, let's see here. There we go. A newsletter element. And then when you open it up, uh, make sure you name your form uh, correctly so that in case you need to find it for some reason on the back end or style it, you can, you know what, it, what the name of it is. Um, the title, which is this, and then a description, so what exactly am I getting? And then if you want the name field, um, disclaimer, and then what you want the button to say. So there we go, and then from there, if you want to center it, if you want floating fields or anything like that, um, let's go to, so right now it automatically goes to the Squarespace email campaigns, which I don't have. Um, a couple of my clients do and they like it, so if you want to try that, that's great. But I don't have that. I will connect it to other services. You can connect it with Zapier and Google Drive in case you have something like ConvertKit. We just finished up a site that works with ConvertKit. And so we use Zapier or Zapier um, to create a connection so that it would just go into the um, into her email list. So I'm actually going to connect it with Mailchimp. And let's see. So it keeps asking me to log in, but you will log in and choose the account. And then choose the list. So I have many lists. I've been grandfathered in. It's hopefully I remember the right list. There we go. And um, then you hit apply. Um, post submit. You can send them to a thank you page, which I have not yet created, so I will not be adding a specific URL. But you can, and I, I recommend that you do. It's just that I haven't created it yet. Um, but you can. Um, add a message and I would suggest that you just at least thank them if not customize it I'm going to be customizing it later on so if you want you can come to my site and check out how I customize it or if I have finally put in the new page um, yeah, let's see it save so it saves it and then we go here and save and then we're going to go on to the live site and check it out. And then there it is. So now I can go in and style it and um, be a design, the design section of um, Squarespace. Um, but this is basically how you get it to connect to your site. So let me know if you have any questions, and you can always find me on Instagram at Robles Design Studios, Facebook at Robles Design Studios, and anywhere else. Just people Robles Designs um, or Yasmin Robles, and then you'll find me. And you can message me any questions that you have. All right. I hope to see you at another video.